Hey, what's up? Uh, it's video blog time, and uh, this time I figured I'd show you what I'm working on with some of the Ruiner Severhead stuff. After I sent Don't Taste Me Bro around to a couple people when I first finished it, uh, one of the first things people said was, all right, so it's pretty obvious you're not going to play this stuff live. Have fun. And I didn't really think too much about it at the time, although something in the back of my head said, no, this is totally doable live. The reason I, if you're not familiar with the piece, it's really sample heavy. There's a lot of uh, sound design in it. Lots of layers, massive multi-track overdub. Uh, it's a massive production piece, basically. But it's actually a lot easier to pull off live with something like Ableton Live than some of the other pieces. And it actually is the one piece I can use uh, this equipment to improvise with and actually do a completely uh, original version of it each time I play it. So let me dig into some of the technology here, show you what we got going on. First off, familiar from free previous blog posts, this is my main processor. This is uh, set up. I have bass going in, mono, two outs. Right now I have headphones plugged in, but I'm not going to be using them. This is for the expression pedal, which is right here, which controls. Uh, I'll show you controls this send right here. There's my expression pedal moving. And that sends my bass signal to a uh, reverb chain in there. USB, it's all done through USB. Since USB is audio and MIDI, I'm taking full advantage of this. So basically what's happening is, I have all my samples in Ableton Live. I have all my sessions in Ableton Live. I have all my music and everything in Ableton Live. It's connected via USB back to here it's also connected audio and MIDI. So basically, all the audio comes back through this unit and out through these two cables. So I only need, for all this equipment, I only need those two cables, left and right. All the samples and everything play back through here. The bass plays back through here. Plus, I can send MIDI signals from here using these foot pedals and controllers to control the computer with my feet. Very, very cool. All right, the addition is this little uh, keyboard controller, which actually came free with when I bought Ableton Live a few years ago. It's just an O2. You can probably get these on eBay for like 20 bucks or whatever. Pretty cheap. And what I've done is I've signed all these controllers to do different things in Live. M basically what I've set this up to do is just fire samples. So right now, it's all set up to save Don't samples. Don't me, bro. Don't me. And other samples from the song itself. So like here's the bass part. And then here's the bass part processed. Now just to kind of give you an idea what's happening, when I fire one of those here, I have it set up to play up here. So here's a bank of samples that I'm basically going to use to fire Don't Taste Me Bro. So. I'm going to fire the song here, and that's basically just going to kick off, and that's just going to loop. Come back over here, I'm going to add in the mini drum part, that's this part right here, I'm going to add in another part. That's like the main backbone of the song. All right, now, hold on a second. Now, there is a change there, there's a big change in the song. Rather than have it just play backing tracks, I'm gonna be able to fire this manually. So if I decide I wanna play it a little differently, I can. So let me start, I'll build back the whole thing up again, and I'll go into the change. The change, by the way, you can't see it from this vantage point, I've actually, assigned to a pedal on my board. So it will play the bass line in Ableton Live when I want it to, on time, on the beat. And if I stop it, just click, by clicking the pedal, I just stop it. Fierce. All right, let's try it again.
That's how you do Don't Taze Me Bro solo. Join me for the show, won't you? How do you shut this fucking thing off?